All right, right now we're simulating um, a noisy ignition box. We've uh, This is the ignition box that's emitting uh, noise. I've set the uh, Horus X12S into low power mode. And you can see, and by the way, the Horus is right here, about one meter to two meters away. And the effect of, um, the effect of the faulty ignition boxes, it reduces the range greatly of the RX-8R. So the range is drastically reduced and that explains why it drops off. Right now I'm simulating 1300 RPM. Let's move that to more flying, about 2900 RPM or 3000 RPM-ish. And if you take a look at the receiver, the light's still flashing. We can actually simulate failure here. And there he goes. This receiver's failed. And uh, meanwhile, the XM Plus is still green and it's still maintaining connectivity. It's only the main receiver that has failed with the red light while the, uh, you know, the redundant system is working. Um, I'm going to recover now and let's see if the, uh, if the receiver recovers. And there we go. It re recovers very well. So the new software firmware patch for the RX-8R that we just installed actually works. And yes, this is delivering a spark right now. It's live. You can see the spark there. And uh, the XM Plus is connected and is very happy right now. The um, RX-8R is the one that's uh, experiencing issues because the ignition box is very noisy and we put the ignition box right beside the firmware. Uh, right beside the uh, receiver. Thank you.